Canals, of course, were not exclusive to New York. In fact, the inspiration for building a canal system came in large part from Great Britain. The English began building canals in the mid-1700s, and many of these waterways survive until this day. Canvas White, an engineer involved with the planning of the Erie Canal, was sent to England in 1817 to inspect the British canal system with an eye to solving construction problems on the Erie. So that's a lovely run. Mm -hmm. um, and when you've got the two boats running together, it makes it, it, it makes He sense. found an extensive running, system of canals running. operating, and many of the construction techniques used in the building of the New York State Canals were imported from the United Kingdom. At Mid Lakes, we went twice to England with 12 people and, and hired their commercial boats, their what they call hire boats, and endeavored to find out why DeWitt Clinton had to send Canvas White to England. And it was, it was very obvious once you got there, uh, knowing that in this country there were no schools of engineering, there were no engineers. As a matter of fact, the nearest thing we had to engineers at that time of the building of the canal were lawyers who because of their interest in surveying for their clients had a basic knowledge of engineering. And so when Canvas White went to England, he walked a thousand miles of canal and it took him a year and he came back with the ideas of how to impound water, how to control it, how to build the locks with some permanence, and how to cement those stones together so that they would last for not only one lifetime, but several lifetimes. And this was done. We followed his footsteps, and it gave us a new insight into why this, this ditch, this waterway, has, has so much permanence. Britain's canals operate today under the auspices of the British Waterways Board. Many areas appear not to have changed in 200 years. As in New York, the canals today are mostly the domain of pleasure boats, and it is possible to rent one or more of the 2,000 hire boats for a day or a week's vacation. There is still, however, some commercial traffic making use of the canals. This coal boat still delivers to customers the old-fashioned way. It's a whale or a... F I don't know, it's hard to explain, really, because the people you meet are so nice. Really nice people. I mean, they, they love it. It's sort of, oh, the coalman will be coming tomorrow, and people say, well, what's the big deal about the coalman coming? You know, it's just, you want to see when he gets here. You know, <laughs> um, 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 you know. And you turn up with that. But, uh, I'll tell you what, I had some American tourists in the summer. We were unloading at Hill Morton. And they came up, they were some nice people. And they asked us if we worked for the tourist board. And they genuinely thought we did. And they thought the coal was a fiberglass replica. Is that right? And they genuinely thought that. And they asked me if I could take two small lumps of coal back to prove that it was real. <laughs> and I, I was amazed, really amazed, you know. But then again, the boat was loaded. And it's so unusual that I suppose people could be forgiven for thinking this guy must work for the tourist board. He can't do it for a He's living. He's a fake. Yeah. He's a fake. No, it's genuine. It's a real McCoy stuff. Do you ever trade? Do you trade food for coal ever? No. No. It's always cash. Cash. And then you buy your own food where you live. Yeah, and I've got my little running dog. And he's a damn good rabbiter. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And the more garden stretches from sort of here to... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you know, that's what they used to do on our canals, too. The, and when you get to the farm, the last row was always for the canal people. Oh, well, in England, it's not officially, but you just not got to be greedy. But we're just crazy enough to carry on doing it. The British canals are a bit more primitive than their New York counterparts. 
Locks are still operated by hand, with crew members from each boat cranking the lock paddles to fill or empty the lock. The canals are scarcely more than 15 feet wide and only four feet deep. So most boats are narrow boats, which are well suited to these dimensions. Many families still live on their boats, as was done in the years past, keeping livestock on board to fill the family's needs. Fields and pastures line the canal banks, and all manner of animals placidly watch the boats travel up and down the waterways. Many villages are still centered around the canals, and there's always a handy pub to tie up at when the day is done. One feature of the English canals not seen in New York are the tunnels, often a mile long, which take the canals under hills and other obstructions. But many of the sights are familiar ones. Fishermen hoping for a good catch. Pleasure boaters out for an afternoon's enjoyment and beautiful scenery.